Japan's symbol of freewheeling capitalism is now coming to a dramatic end. The former CEO of internet firm LiveDoor Company has pleaded not guilty on Monday to charges of breaking security laws. The case has rocked Japan, who revered their homegrown corporate success story. In what came to be called the livestock shock, a January raid on live doors sent Tokyo share prices tumbling, halting trade and rattling confidence in the world's second largest stock market. The case embarrassed Prime Minister Junichiro Koizumi, who supported the former executive to run for parliament. Prosecutors believe Hori and four other company executives sought to boost share prices by spreading false information, issuing new shares to acquire firms already under LiveDoor's control, and then selling them for a profit to pad its books. Hori faces up to five years in prison and fines up to 43,000 U.S. dollars if found guilty. Japanese media says a verdict in the case may not come for five months or more. Hori also faces damage suits from former shareholders after LiveDoor brought in new management and was forced the D-list following his detention. Some 2,000 people lined up in hopes of getting one of 61 courtroom seats available for the public. Most TV stations broadcast live from in front of the court, with some providing breathless blow-to-blow -blow updates. A dropout from the elite University of Tokyo, he set up Live Door's predecessors living on the edge a decade ago with a mere 50,000 US dollars in capital, and turned it into a sprawling internet conglomerate with market capital of more than 6 billion US dollars. Hori's attempt to buy a baseball team in 2004 and a rare takeover battle with a giant media group last year won him many admirers among young people, but also made him enemies among Japanese conservative business elite.